Hello everyone, I just got done with the potato festival and man was it cold. It was in the 40s starting at 8 o'clock when we got there on Saturday and it got up to, didn't hit the 60s on Saturday. On Sunday it peaked up into the 60s a little bit during the afternoon and dropped right back down to the 40s. It was really cold. Several people asked if we were cold seeing our heavy winter jackets and one person was like this is ohio why are you wearing a heavy heavy jacket it's not that cold it's not snowing but we were outside for 12 hours on the first day and 10 hours on the second day so we were plenty cold we bought hot chocolate at one of the vendors it was so cold we weren't planning on getting anything and we had um, my grandparents came and visited us, and we asked them to bring something hot, and they brought us hot chocolate. Mmm, was hot chocolate good? It was so cold. So, the names we sold at this festival on Saturday were Danny, Oliver, Cora, Reese, Joey, Zeke, and Joss. And on Sunday, we sold Clarissa, Marley, Emma, Brinley, and then one little girl wanted her last name, um, Finley. And we started something new. If your name is four letters or less, you can have a heart or a star crayon to go with the letters. That way you can get a wide variety of colors. And you're not stuck with just three or four. You can have at least four. We haven't come across any two letter names. I also sold an L necklace. Um, that was funny. This teenage girl came up. She was probably 13 and she looked at her boyfriend and said, buy me that. So he did. He bought her a necklace, an L necklace. And we sold a letter C necklace. We sold 16 shape crayons on the first day and seven shape crayons on the second day so we sold 23 shape crayons which considering i did seven last time is a huge jump we had to when we went home we had to restock we totally ran out of some of the flower types and the rainbow stars and the rainbow shells because we only brought two of each kind except for the flowers, which we brought three and sold out of a bunch of the varieties of flowers because they're the most popular. So I hadn't had much time between this festival and the last festival, and I had only managed to make four boxes of pumpkin crayons. It's a new mold. They're really pretty, um, and they sold out on the first day. I wish that I had had some more, but I made as many, many as I could. I made as many as was reasonable at the time, and we sold out. So my next craft fair is in three weeks, and I will have time to make a lot more pumpkins. So I'm looking forward to that, because those are fun to make. It was so windy at the festival. Um, when we got there, we found that there was a space on both sides of us where there was no vendor. There was a space, an empty space between us and the next vendor on both sides. And we're like, yay, we're not boxed in because last festival we were closed in on both sides and by side, side tents. Um, like there were sides on both tents. So we were kind of boxed in, but this time it was completely open and the wind tried to take everything away. Fortunately, we had duct tape. Duct tape the signs, duct tape down the display boxes, duct tape the other sign, the fabric sign that goes on the front of the booth. Um, we used lots of duct tape. One of the things that annoyed me about this festival is we got there, and I'm the kind of person who, if the festival starts at 9, I'd rather be set up at 8.30 than 9.15. So we're there, and we're set up by 8.40, and it takes until 10 o'clock for everyone to arrive. And it's like, you paid for this time. I mean, there's nobody there, but there's not very many people there, but we paid to be there. So why would you not show up? I don't know. 
and people left early too. The festival closed at six on Sunday, and people started packing up at four. At four. And they started driving cars down the street that had been closed off at four too. And it's like, that's not fair because you're kicking out the rest of the people who want to be there for the rest of us. Like, if you want to leave, fine. That doesn't hurt me. It's annoying, but it doesn't hurt me. But driving your car down the middle of the street, that was annoying. During festival hours. That was annoying. More than one person came up to me this festival and said that they have made crayons. One little boy said they made squirrel crayons, and that that's pretty cool to make squirrel crayons. Um, one lady, a couple ladies said that they tried to make crayons, but they got stuck peeling them, so I'll show you how I do it. I have my crayon, and I have a craft knife. Craft knife. Um... And if you're worried about cutting your fingers, which I sometimes am, if I'm tired, I will use a chip clip. And you just stick the crayon in the chip clip. And then you take your knife. And if you slide off to the side a little bit, it's okay because you just hit the chip clip. Then the crayon peels a lot more easily. The paper just comes right off. That's how I do it. It makes it a lot easier. The craft knife does. Another time, a teenage boy came up and said that he almost caught himself on fire melting crayons. He said he accidentally poured some of the melted crayon into the oven and it caught on fire. So that was funny. We both had a good laugh about that. So our crayons come in box sets, and for some reason people were looking at the boxes and they were thinking that one crayon was $5. So they'd come up and they'd be like, I want this crayon. And the mom would hand over $5 and I'd be like, you get the whole box for $5 and I'd make their day. They'd go, what? Um, and one mom was like, that's a great deal. I am going to, I'm going to buy more. So she bought four boxes. Um, that was pretty cool. So next time I'm going to have, I'm going to rewrite my sign. So instead of saying $5, they're going to say $5 a box. So that you know that you get a whole box and not just one crayon. We didn't have this trouble at the other festival, so I'm not really sure what was going on there. What was, I'm not sure what was different. Why people were thinking that you would only get one crayon for $5. I'm sure a lot of people walked the other way because that's really expensive. But no, you get six or seven crayons in a box, depending. Um, the pumpkins are six. Everything else that I have right now is seven. Um, some things that went well. Um, we borrowed a light. Um, this festival ended at eight on Saturday, so we borrowed a light from under the kitchen cabinet. It's about this long, and it is an LED, so it's pretty bright. It's magnetic. It clipped to the top of the tent. It's shown right on all the merchandise. Um, my sister came to visit the festival, so we went and walked around, and we came back, and, you know, it's getting dark, most of the booths are dark, and ours was bright, you could see everything. It worked really well. Another thing that worked really well was our setup. Only bringing one cooler meant that we could take one load with the wagon, um, and bring all of the stuff. And we were able to park on a side street that was really close. We were really close to a side street, like within three booths of the street. It was near the, the porta potties, which were the only bathrooms, which was nice that we were so close and not close enough to smell them, but close enough to get there really easily. And we were also really close to where we could park the car. We didn't park there every time. But when we were moving the tent and the table and the chairs, you betcha we were parked on that side street. 
things that didn't go so well. It was cold. It was so cold. I think that about wraps it up. So I'll see you again in three weeks after my next craft fair. Bye.